Hello you guys, welcome. I am interviewing Yolanda Rubio today and I am setting up the tech with her. So I'm gonna see when she shows up in here and I'm gonna invite her in. There she is. Uh, let's try that. Have you seen a request? And then as soon as we're going to be live here, I've accepted your request, Yolanda, but maybe I can do that again. Accept. There you go. And I'm here. And now you can turn Hello. off your um, yeah. Zoom version and we can Done. launch that situation. Oh, okay. Facebook is You not hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. I'm just trying to start the Facebook just to make sure that starts. And it is starting. That's it. We're doing it. How are you doing? I'm fine. Thanks. Okay. So we're going to be talking a little bit about your path with um, the reset work. And... Mm -hmm. um, how do you want to start? Is there anything that you want to start with or you just want to start with the beginning of when you started acting? Uh, well, I can, I've been acting forever. And then I found you, I, I lived in France, I lived in the United States, uh, always following my acting career mm -hmm. and, and learning languages for my acting mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. And when I get back, got back to Spain, I was kind of lost and I said and then then one email of you popped up in my computer and you had the spot left in one of your reset programs and I said you know what I'm gonna do this I need to do this so I looked for the money because I had to ask for money to my friends mm -hmm. uh, to let me do this and uh, because I just felt that I needed it and they lent me the money <laughs> and I met you and my life changed completely mm -hmm. in, a, in a lot of senses. So, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, my favorite thing that you said, which I think a lot of actors tend to not dare to do, is I wanted to do this and I didn't have the money and I asked my friends for the money. And a lot of people will want to start working with us and will say, oh, I really need this. I know it's what I need and I don't have money and the conversation stops. And I think that's the difference between people who are allowing parts of themselves that are feeling like victims of their situation to rule their life or people who were saying i'm not going to stay in my victim part i'm going to commit to this and i'm going to find a way no matter what and that commitment i think is um translates when you act it translates on how you show up for everything actually if you have a tendency to navigate the circumstances of your life with the part of you that feels like a victim it's probably going to show up a lot and usually your circumstances will be responsible for what you're living and if you're showing up showing up in life with you know no commitment that no matter what you do what you you say and you say what you do then it's going to show up in all of your life too then including in your characters right i think that's really important yeah yeah, I think so. Yeah. What made you do you think what made you make that commitment? What made you not stay with the victim part of you that thought I don't have the money to do this, therefore I can't? What what made that possible? I guess I was feeling stuck in my life and my career. I didn't know how to I didn't know I I didn't know why I acted anymore, mm -hmm. why I was playing. I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of things. I was kind of lost, mm -hmm. basically. And um, also, my relationship was a mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you know, one of those moments where your life is just a mess. Mm -hmm. 
in every possible way. Uh, so I said, okay, let's start all over again mm. and let's see if I can find the joy of acting. I can find my path and I can find, and, and basically, um, I think it's one of the best decisions I've made, mm. uh, you know, uh, deciding, you know, it's, it's like something was here when I received this email and told me, do this, do this, <laughs> you know, yeah. call it God, call it universe, call it whatever. And, or an and intuition. I did. Maybe an intuition that yeah, needed an to intuition. Be. Yeah, because I think that when people say, when, or when you say to work with you, it's not really what it's about. It's not about working with me. No. It's actually about working with you, right? So yeah, I that's, think that maybe I discovered that yeah. later. <laughs> but maybe you didn't realize that right ahead when you received an email. But usually the emails are saying that it's not about me, that I'm not a teacher, that I'm not going to teach you anything, that you're not going to learn anything. And it's about actually taking back all the authority into you, making you the guru, making you your own coach, making sure that you are in your body, embodied, connected, present, that you're actually here. And I think that maybe when you read the first email or you watch the first video or free content or whatever, you may be like, oh, this this feels like what I want to do. And you may not be realizing, you may be thinking, oh, I want to work with Joe. There's no working with me, actually. It's really about working with you. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so, true. so you were feeling lost in every aspect, didn't even know what, why you acted anymore. And so you reset yourself. And then what happens? How, how, what's the change? What does it look like after? Wow. Well, it's kind of a, a ball started to roll and things start happening. Mm. I decided to move to Madrid. Uh, I was having a relationship. We weren't having a very good time right at the moment. We didn't separate it, but we separated physically. It's like kind of, of I need to find who I am. I'm going to Madrid. Uh, he stayed in Sevilla and and then it's kind of when you change your mindset or what you are doing in or you're doing things in a different way things starting to work so I started doing <laughs> two plays but as an assistant director and after I had been an assistant director in one of those companies they took me as a lead actress and I started having commercials and I, I don't know, I, my, my <laughs> career started growing because I, of course, I'd be keeping working my, with my instrument, with the exercises that you show us, I did the purpose group, I did, I did uh, other things with you. And, and now I, I will be premiere a movie with a supporting role with, two of the most famous actors in Spain. Mm -hmm. So, you know, things just happened and keep happening because I, keep, I kept working and uh, <coughs> well, using everything I learned. Well, no, I know that I learned yeah. because you don't say uh, that. Uh, everything, I've been working on myself. Yeah, you know? and I wouldn't say, I think when you say things just happen, what happened, in, is that you were able to make decisions about your life, about moving to Madrid, about figuring out your path. And like you became clear, right? Mm -hmm. When we're not, not mm -hmm. in our body, when we're still functioning under the impression of the authority of the, there's a good way to live, a bad way to live, there's a right way to do this, a wrong way to uh, do this. We're not actually connecting to ourselves. We're connecting to a perceived authority, the one that raised us, the school system, the culture, the society. And, and we're following what we think is the right way to do things. So we're not self-guided. We're not in our body. We're not in our heart. We're not in our mind even. We're not in our soul. So it's... Um, when you say, well, after the reset, I started making some decisions. Well, you, it's not that things 
started happening is you started happening. You started walking your life, walking your path, making decisions, taking turns and being there. And therefore, when you are there, people see you. When you're not present, people can't see you. And there's no fulfillment, of course, in not being present because you're not there. So how can you possibly be fulfilled? You're just putting masks and pretend and faking and production. But you, the essence of your being, is not there. It's squashed at the bottom of your instrument. So there's no satisfaction there. So when you do the work of reversing that, of actually making sure you are present, well, first of all, you enjoy yourself, and then you actually live with the integrity of your being. You make decisions, you're truthful, you make choices, and you sh you show up, and so people see you, and that's why you get yeah. the work. It's not that it just happened. You happened. Yeah. yeah. And also you take decisions with your career as mm -hmm. well. I mean, um, I have certain, for example, I get some auditions for commercials mm -hmm. that I don't want to do. Yeah. So I say, why? Why I don't want to do this? Mm -hmm. That doesn't go with what I want to show as an yeah. artist. Mm -hmm. So I don't do them. And then I, I don't know. It's 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 a different way to approach life mm -hmm. and and approach uh, the career you want and mm -hmm. you know mm -hmm. making decisions in an empowerful way. Yeah, yeah. In, a, in an integrated mm -hmm. way. Yeah, with actually you making the decision rather than what should I do? What's the best way to do it? What's the right way to do it? To decide what's the what's the good decision. All of that does mm -hmm. not come from inside of you. Yeah. So you were talking about um, having had anxiety and how you're now using that to your service. Can you say a little bit more about that? Yeah, well, the exercises help a lot. I mean, <laughs> the reset exercises come with me every day or every time I, I'm going on stage. Um, even in strange circumstances where you have to, for example, uh, two Fridays ago, it was a very difficult, we were acting on the street for a festival and uh, and everyone around me was kind of nervous about it. Oh, all these people is screaming, you know, they were teenagers. And I was just, I did one of, my, of the exercises you show us. I was calm and I was, I'm going to enjoy this. And that's it. Mm -hmm. So I was enjoying it and actually I was so present that I was feeling, I was hearing the people on the street when I was out backstage, not on stage acting. So when I was acting, I was really present mm -hmm. because, you know, I wasn't hearing anything. Mm -hmm. I just went, when I was going backstage is when I was hearing. Right. Oh, wow. Right. People are screaming very loud, <laughs> you yeah. know. So uh, you are so present. You are so aware of your character and what you want to show and what you want to uh, give to the to the audience that you don't care about anything else. Yeah. You know, what happens is that you're so well, your instrument is so clean um, that you're so available for your character that you are actually capable to be the character and to not take care of your ego when you don't have an instrument that's clear it's the ego still needs to grab on and survive and pay attention to itself and you know take from the outside and feed itself and so you can't really be there for your character when you're really free which is the work we do is to free yourself back into how you were born um, then you can do devote yourself to your character. But if your ego is suffering, if it's in resistance, trauma, it, you, you, you can't actually be of service to your character. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Definitely, that makes sense. Well, I am also so glad that we have crossed paths <laughs> because my life <laughs> also has changed since you've come into my life, since we also work together and you're just a delight. Um, mm -hmm to be with thank and to, you. to work with. Definitely, definitely. So thank you so much. Is there any um, thing that you would like to add or anything else that you would like to share about this work? Well, 
I think that it's not only about the work also. Mm -hmm. uh, you know what I've been through two years ago. Yeah. And it's also about what you have going on in your life. It mm -hmm. makes you a better artist. It makes you a better... Um, uh, be aware of and take care of your instrument in a way that um, whatever you have going on, mm -hmm. you can integrate it for your acting and also mm -hmm. um, it helps you go through whatever you have mm -hmm. going on. I had cancer, as you know, two years ago and the work, mm -hmm. I mean, the exercises helped me immensely to go through that period of my time mm -hmm. where I was having a premiere in one of the most important festivals in Spain, uh, theater festivals in Spain. I was having <laughs> a lot of work as an actress yeah. and yeah, I, I worked with you. So And, and, and like just, all together. yeah, and just using the, the exercises, you and, stayed uh, taking care of myself, yeah. mm -hmm. I could go through everything yeah, yeah. so uh, it's not only about acting it's about no. life and mm -hmm. how this makes us a better artist and yeah and yeah and I don't usually use the words better but I know what you mean it's um, resetting is about making you you so in the way that we see acting there's no acting it's about just being being truthful and being free being in the mm -hmm. moment and so inevitably it's true what you mentioned like people come into this work through mostly actors but also other artists through singing or dancing or writing directing or any type of performance some hosts are coming on to um, but what people will talk about a lot when they share the results it's that the the impact that it has on your life obviously because you're resetting yourself to be you and who shows up in all areas of your life you so it impacts everything your health your relationship to yourself your relationship to others and your work yeah definitely well i'm so yeah. glad thank you. Yeah. thank you yolanda thank you yeah <laughs> Or so yeah. um, I think I would add that if anyone is watching this and resonating with Yolanda's experience and if you're feeling also, oh, this makes sense. I'm not looking for another method or another bag of tri tricks or technique, but I'm actually looking more so to be me in my acting and in my life. Um, then you can send us a DM and we can send you some information. We also have some free trainings in the link in the bio or in the about section on Facebook and you can download that for free and get started. But if you really want to do, you know, the full, um, the full coming back home reset, then you can get in touch with us and we can send you some information. All right, I think that's it. I think I feel that we're complete and um, it was nice to see you again. And I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> right, see thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.